What's going on everybody Z here and welcome to a new game. So this game is completely, uh, it's something different. It is, it to me, it looks like a mixture of Stardew Valley and Animal Crossing, which I love Stardew Valley. And Animal Crossing is a blast as well. So I saw this game during the uh, the Steam Survival Fest, and I was like, oh, I got to try this out. So uh, if you guys are interested, I have a link down below. But this is Dincom, Dincom, I think is what it's called. Um, so uh, let me go ahead and make my guy, apparently. And then we're going to hop it into the game. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do like, subscribe, all the fun things. All right. So I made a character. Uh, there's not a, like a ton of customization here. Uh, my name is Z1 because I can't use numbers. And the, what is the island's name? Uh, Flugelhorn, because I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> great character all right let's see what we got into here uh, a long time ago everyone thing uh, went south oh oh this looks terrible almost everyone was forced to move to south city this looks like a some kind of encampment the people of south city lived in cold miserable lives and you were born here oh fantastic most people have no desire to leave looks like they have no desire in life <laughs> but you do more than anything he might have found a way out. Oh. Help wanted. Looking for a young go-getter to accompany me to my old home. Uh, Flugelhorn. <laughs> Voyage accommodation will be your initial compensation. Anyone interested? Okay. Looks like we're going. <laughs> oh, it sounds like we're taking a helicopter. Very nice. Uh, you leave for Flugelhorn today. Yay. I'm leaving for Flugelhorn. Oh, it's a blimp. That's super cool. How very many places do you travel by blimp, you know? Oh, look at it go. <laughs> All right. And away we go. <gasps> oh. Oh, this is super cool. Oh, there's like, okay, so there's definitely like ores and trees and like, it looks like there's terrain that you might be able to manipulate a little bit. Oh, it almost looks a little voxely. Not, not, not super voxly though. Prepare for airship landing. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So it looks like, like we kind of like build our own city. We do farming, we have pets, we have all this kind of stuff. Uh, looks like we've landed. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm so glad you decided to accompany me on this adventure. I was starting to think no one in South City was brave enough to join me. When you were the first and only person to respond to my ad. Wow. She's really, really going at it. <laughs> oh dear look at old fletch waffle on let's get cracking okay let's do it let's go outside okay oh this is a cool area oh the water's pretty okay let's see what we got um uh, smell the fresh air i'll tell you what it feels good to be able to finally be back in flagorn okay you know what i gotta turn off I gotta turn off the voices because this this little quick talking is annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna need your help getting started, okay? I'll give you this base tent. You find a good place for it. It'll be like our town hub. Take this map. If you have any questions, please just ask. I haven't been back to Flugelhorn for a very long time, but I think it can still be helpful. I'll be waiting by the dock until you set up the base tent. If you get lost, just check your map and find the dock again. Good luck. Hey, base tent. A base of operations. Okay, cool. Um, island map. Pins can be placed on to mark points of interest. Okay, so let's see. Open pockets tab. Okay, so that's nice. Okay, I'm gonna say the tent can go right here. How do I do this? Boom. Is this a good place for a tent? Yes. Perfect. We've done it. My gosh. So this is where you decide to build, huh? It's absolutely perfect. Our new home here on Flugelhorn. Thank you so much for setting up the base tent. Oh, and guess what? I actually have a tent for you too. Uh, I know it's not much, but it'll be a place where you can call home. Now, there's plenty of room to spread out here in Flugelhorn, so please take your time and place your tent. You'll probably be visiting the base tent a fair bit, so keep that in mind when you're looking for a spot to claim as your own. I'll be inside the tent getting things ready. Come speak to me once you've placed your tent. Okay, so it sounds like what we just placed was the, maybe like the town center. Um, and now we're going to place our own tent. Okay, so there's a couple settings that I adjusted for uh, for like PC gameplay. Um, I have 
the um well let me just let me pop in here because like i felt like controls just were weird for me um invert camera why um i i selected that i don't know why i don't normally have to select an invert thing but for some reason it just didn't feel weird it felt weird and then i always have um mouse always moves camera on instead of holding shift or middle mouse button to move the camera because you don't actually use your mouse for a whole lot right now it doesn't feel like so um, i don't feel like there's any reason that the camera wouldn't move the mouse wouldn't move the camera you know by itself anyway so um, I feel like this is far enough away. I was kind of hoping that I could put a pathway, though. All the way from this place. Okay, I'm going to try to run straight along this block right here. Okay, so that, this one is the one that we did. Uh, rotate. Oh, I'm in the way. Okay, so let's go down by one. Okay, I think that's, I think that's right. I think that's right. I don't know. We'll see. <gasps> Yay, I have a tent. Okay. So, uh, gum log. I can pick it up. Ooh, oh, there's kangaroos. And was that like a fire ant hill or something? Probably shouldn't touch it. <laughs> okay, so um, I want to go ahead and we got to figure out how to, we got to start making the things. I want to start making like a little farm and stuff. Found a good place for your tent? I did. I know it's not much, but I hope you like your new home. I'll tell you what, you've got the spark zone. Z1. You see, most people in South City are scared of leaving. There's something about the place that pulls the spark out of people. Well, I'll tell you what, we certainly aren't the first to leave. Have you ever heard of the traveler John? No, I haven't. I'll tell you what, he's a bloody legend. Rumor is he traded a paperclip for a steamboat once. Wow. Trading is in his very blood. John got in contact with me before we left South City. He's just interested in visiting visiting with his shop here. I'll tell you what, you can't miss an opportunity like this. I reckon we get this visiting site deed ready for him oh that way we'll have a place for ready for visitors who come to flugelhorn i'll let you decide where the best place for this visiting site deed is just be sure it's close by we want visitors to feel like part of flugelhorn community when they're here who knows maybe we can convince them to set a permanent shop here ah this sounds very similar to another game <laughs> um be sure to talk to me once you place your visiting site deed okay so a place for visitors easily to set up camp that should be like right by the um i feel like it should be like right in here you know what i'm saying uh how big is it okay so i feel like it should be like right here it's a good place for visiting site deed yep right here right on the uh right on the edge right next to the ocean they're gonna feel like they're part of the town uh, see, that's pretty cool I think I like that. I think yeah, I like that. This is this is already cool. Our whole town is gonna get built here. Uh, we are set. Well done. We've achieved so much. Um, let's see. Adventures journal. Okay. All right. So we got adventures journal. Fletch's father's journal. It's filled with his past milestones. That journal means a lot to me. Oh, we won't lose it. Don't worry. But I think my dad would also be glad someone like you was looking after it. Um, it looks like we have a heart rating, like a, a friendship rating maybe too. Um, cause I see some like gray hearts here. So that's kind of neat. I need to try to beat my, all my father's milestones. Some of the milestones are going to take a long time to complete, but there's no hurry. I'm also going to add daily tasks to journals. These will be smaller milestones that you could easily complete in just one day. Uh, for now, the good part for every milestone you surpass, you'll be rewarded with permit points. I'll tell you what, you're doing a you're going to want a lot of permit points eventually. We can talk more about, more about that tomorrow. For now, check out the journal. I think you'll find that you've actually completed some milestones inside. So be sure to claim them now. Are you hungry? I am. Okay. Yes. Finally. Let's get some, let's get going somewhere. Um, go out and find us some fruit. And when you get back, I'll show you how to craft a campfire. Okay. So open journal is escape milestones camper. Hey, Okay. Um, explorer. Let's see, harvest three, a bush lime, catch two bugs, craft one item. Ah, 
Oh, yeah, there's all kinds of fun things here. Oh man, tons of stuff. Okay. Let's go get some let's go get some things. Find something to eat. Um this tree here had some stuff on it. Are these are the bush lines. <gasps> I bet you I got a, a, an achievement. Harvest three bush limes. Oh, do I just do? You, oh, you automatically just get the stuff. Okay, catch two bugs, craft one item. All right, Fletch. I have bush limes. I did find something. If you're eating food, will keep your energy up. Here's a recipe for a campfire. I found these stones earlier, so you can turn these into campfire. Okie dokie. We got three stones. <laughs> And we got a campfire recipe. Okay, so, um, building. How do we craft? Build camera. No. Escape, maybe? Options, animals, tasks. No current tasks, details, photos. Oh, I came back and talked to uh, Fletch, and now I'm getting a bug net. I'll figure out something to do. Uh, take the sleeping bag too. When you get tired, pop it on the ground and have it lay down. I'll tell you what, a good night rest will do us both good. Thanks for the help today. Can't believe we're on Flugelhorn. Can't believe we've done any I couldn't have done any of this without you. One bug net. And a sleeping bag. Oh yes. Okay, so the sleeping bag. I wonder if the sleeping bag can go in <gasps> bug net. I caught a fly. Caught another fly. I caught two bugs though. That's okay. Oh, can I catch this bird? <laughs> I'm gonna catch a bird with a bug net. Come here, bird! <laughs> uh, I doubt that was gonna work. Alright. Let's go plop down our... Can we plop down our sleeping bag in here? There! Perfect. Um, okay, so how do I craft a work... How do I craft an item? I'm kind of curious. <gasps> Oh, there's a crafting table right here. Oh my gosh, I'm a I'm a dummy. Um, okay, so we have rock path, crude fence, campfire, wooden torch, cooking table, crafting table. Okay, so campfire. I need two more logs. What do I need for my own crafting table? Oh, tin nails, gum, wood plank, cooking table. Okay, so we need a lot of things. Uh, rock path is just stone. So let me go grab another gum log. I was like, man, there's got to be somewhere. And then I was thinking, about, I was like, you know what? I'm pretty sure there's probably a crafting bench inside the um, the main building. <laughs> All right. Take you. Some more stuff over here. Uh, we need a pickaxe or something, too. I'm going to snag more of these gum logs. Curious if these gum logs, like, respawn. Like the the ones just laying on the ground, or like what's going on with those? Oh, what are these? W yellow wattle flower. Okay. All right, let's get our campfire going here. So crafting table, campfire, craft one of those. Okay. Now I don't know where they wanted me to put this. Right there sounds good. <laughs> um, and then can I cook these? Insert. What happens to the bush lime when we cook it? Put the bush lime in the campfire and it becomes a cooked bush lime. Sour and cooked, yummy. Sour, but yummy. Oh, you can bury it. And grow more. What? Okay, hold on. We're going to save some of those. Ah, oh, very cool. Okay. Um, play sleeping bag and get some rest. All right. I think we've done, we've done all the daily tasks too. Look at that. Check that out. Daily milestones. All done. All right. Let's go ahead and get some rest. And then we'll see what the next day brings us. This game is cool. I'm liking this already. Uh, I think it's multiplayer too, if I'm not mistaken. 
yeah it definitely looks like it's a uh, it definitely looks like it's multiplayer so that's kind of an off that's a that's an option too all right so late wait no nope. darn it place that lay down call it a day uh yeah let's sleep till tomorrow year one sunday one summer yay oh there's like a foraging and a bug catching level and stuff <laughs> I uh, see, I see. Okay, that seems familiar. Talk to people every day will increase your friendship with them. Nice. Someone is visiting the island. Let's go see who's visiting. It's first thing in the morning, but wake up. All right, let's go talk to Fletch. Fletch, we have a visitor. Ah, oh, good morning. Did you happen to see that John has set up a tent at the visitor site? I told him about you and how you helped us get started here. He sounded so impressed. Uh, John trades all sorts of things back to South City. I reckon nearly anything you can find on the island will be valuable to him. He'll buy fruit, fish, bugs, and even rocks. Um, John also sells a lot of useful tools. He's got some mining equipment, logging tools, and even some fishing equipment. Although you probably can't sell, probably can't sell you a lot of tools until you have all of your licenses in order. Uh, you know a lot about licenses, right? No. Licenses are an old South City idea. Tell you what, you don't didn't need a license for anything back when I was growing up. But these days, you need a license for everything. Luckily, I'm actually an accredited license giver. If you want to apply for a license, come and talk to me. You'll have to spend some permit points to get them, but if you keep doing milestones, you'll make enough in no time. As you get better at doing certain tasks, new license levels will open up too. Now, let's see if there's any license you can apply for right now. Um. Okay, so we have 304. Five, mining, logging, fishing, excavation, hunting, farming. Oh, farming. I want to do the farming. Oh, what? Purchase and pilot water vehicles. Okay, well, I feel like allows the holder to buy farming equipment and seeds. I feel like this could make us money. But then again, being able to chop down trees, like, we're not going to be able to do anything. Like, I feel like logging is the absolute most ba- Like, logging and excavation is probably the most basic and useful thing ever. Of course, logging, there are just logs laying on the ground. You know what? I'm going to go with farming. I'm going to go with a farming license, and we're going to see what happens. Um, Scythe. Grain mill. A new license is available. Um, oh, handling allows the holder to buy and raise chooks. Oh, those are like a, maybe that's like an animal. I don't know. Okay. Um, so we talked to you. Let's go talk to John. John's goods. Hey, John. Oh man. I picked the wrong one. <laughs> So you must be Z1. Flesh told me about you. I think I get this place set up for me. Thanks for that. I have a feeling we'll be doing a lot of business together. Uh, take a look at my wares. Feel free to ask about anything you are interested in now. Uh, I make most of my dink selling exotic items back to South City. I guess you could say exotic means any items found here in Flugelhorn. So if you find anything, and I do mean anything, and you don't want, please drop by and show me. I'll offer a great price for it. Okay, so... I probably can't even like buy any of this stuff. No, I don't think any of this stuff is, is going to be useful for me. But we could always do some collection and getting some stuff going that way, too. Um, now, can I craft anything now that I got the farming thing going here? So, palm, wood, plank, and tin bar. Yeah, see, I can't. Don't go farming to start with. <laughs> That's not going to help you whatsoever. <laughs> uh, grain mill, old gear, copper bar, old wheel. So these might be found, but a copper bars probably have probably have to get that. Um, okay. So it doesn't look like there's probably a lot that I can even do here either. But we can go ahead and start collecting stuff and um maybe getting some dinks from that guy. I don't know. Let's go ahead and just grab stuff. Oh, what is our what's our milestones for the day? Plant four wild seeds, sell nine shells, buy new tool. Um, I don't have a tool that I can buy. <laughs> oh, we got a milestone. Shell, yeah. <laughs> awesome. 
Um, yep, I'm just gonna keep going down around doing stuff and trying to fill out all of my I'm just gonna collect like I'm gonna forge everything I can I should have went with I think I should have went with logging to be honest <gasps> Oh, there's like jellyfish out there I wonder if there's different islands like we can go to because there's there it said there was water vehicles So I wonder if there's like other islands with other stuff on it. Oh my gosh. There might be so much to do in this game. Hey, I caught a moon, blo a blue moon butterfly. Yay. I wonder if we can sell it. Oh, there's like a sign here. Kangaroo sign. Huh. Neato. Um, that looks like a wolf. I bet they're not nice. I'm not going to go over there next to it because I don't want to get eaten. Okay, we're going to definitely be able to hit our level 2 um, shell gathering. Which should hopefully give us enough things to buy something else, maybe? Oh, yes, 250. Okay, perfect. So, uh, can I have you? Now, I don't know what the use for all these shells is, um, but we're going to sell them all to make some money. Or to make some dinks, I guess is what they're called. Oh, we got a thing. Harvest master. They got fruit and logs off the ground will fare you well in this place. Hey, look at that. Okay. So, which one should we go with here? Because I need to, I need to get a license that we can actually do something with. So it's either going to be the logging or mining. I feel like logging. I feel like we should just do logging. I almost forgot. I noticed John is selling a table saw. That's a tool that will be very handy indeed. I think you should try to make enough money to buy the table saw from John. Here's half my dinks. The rest is up to you. Oh, holy moly. Okay, so we definitely need to buy the table saw. How goes the money making? Have you earned enough to buy the table saw? I want to apply for a license. Um, Let's go with logging. Perfect. Okay. Um, it looks like we got landscaping and builder allows the crafter to allows the holder to craft simple bridges. Nice. Okay. So how much is it's 5,200. Okay. I want to sell stuff to this guy. Okay. I think we'll be good there. What do I sell? Oh, actually, you know what? The logs? I don't want to sell the logs. Okay, now how do I sell? Okay, so, oh, sell. Let's see. Ah, oh, six, a thousand and sixty-three? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so I mean we made some money. Shellfish lover. You've got the squeeze for every dink you can, even if it means dealing with shells. Here's a milestone for selling shells. Hey, nice. Maybe shells don't aren't worth a lot. I have no idea. Um, sell nine shells. We need to buy a new tool and plant four wild seeds. And we need to make some more money because we only have 3,800 and we need to make 52. Oh, you know what? We can, we can, uh, we can, the bush limes, we can plant those. I think. Berry. Hmm. May I have to have like some kind of shovel or something. Let's see if I can craft an axe or something now. I didn't unlock an axe, huh? Interesting. How much is an axe? A thousand. Oh, that's a basic axe. Chop down trees and plants. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Because I think that might actually be able to make us money. I wonder if we can buy the rest of that stuff. I don't know. Let's go see if we can't chop down some trees here. Harvest. Oh, wait. This one I can harvest. Oh, these ones I can't, though. Oh, it's because... Okay, these were, <laughs> these were gum trees. Oh, there's a dog here. Do you attack? 
No. He seems pretty nice. Uh oh, this thing looks broken. The there are missing parts. Should I place them? Place items. Oh, cancel. Never mind, we don't have that stuff. Alright, let's try this axe out here. Ooh, we're chopping. Timber. Oh, and we got some gum nuts too. I'm gonna guess those are seeds. Gum nut. Don't try and chew this berry. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so we got some more gum nuts. Um, now our axe does have a durability on it. Holy moly, it does have a durability on it. Let's see if we can't. How, how much are these logs worth? So, like, gum log. How are we supposed to get 5,200? I should have did fishing. Sell goods. How much is one log? One log is a hundred. Really? So that's 2000 right there. Which would take me up to 49. Oh, let's just go harvest some trees then real fast. Let me harvest trees in the area that I know I'm going to farm in. So this tree is going to need to go. All right, let's get this table saw and let's get some money here. Um, talk to John. Sell goods. I also forgot that I have uh, these. Those, that. We got some more of those guys. And sell those yellow flowers. Why not? All right. Sell. Come on. Should be good. 5,500. Heck yeah. That's enough to buy just the table saw in itself. All right. Are you kidding me? Why did the shop close? Nice to see you. It closed at four? So they went fast. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I guess we're not doing that. Um, well, darn. I want to know how to plant stuff. I probably need a shovel or something. Read. What is this? Town is not currently accepting donations. Thank you for your support. All right. So it doesn't look like we can do a whole lot of anything else. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cook up. I'm going to cook up some more bush limes. And then go around and do some more foraging for the day. Oh, we got something for cooking fruit. Nice. Hot fruit. Okay. Um, plant four wild seeds. I don't think I've found any wild seeds. Unless you count wild seeds like, you know, the stuff that we find in the wild. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, she's on a move. She's going somewhere. I wonder how much these uh, yellow flowers sold for. Oh, what is this? Rupu? Oh, we got some Rupu? No way. I would just love to pick that up with my bare hands. <laughs> oh, we got something for walking. Five kilometers. 200 for that. Heck yeah. You should be able to go ahead and get like most of the basic licenses started. Is there a mosquito right here? Uh, nope, that was another fly. <gasps> Is that Rupu? I think I found some Rupu. Oh, we did. Now, I'm grabbing it because if we need it for farming, for like, you know, manure or fertilizer or anything like that, like, mm, grab it when you can see it, and especially at nighttime. Nighttime is super easy because it's like kind of glowing. Is that a frog? Where did he go? Oh, he's right there. Oh, it's a cricket. I caught a cricket. <laughs> There's a firefly over here. Yes. <laughs> so many different things to do. 
Oh, there's a moth too. A bogong moth. Yay! Okay, any more Rupu? I'm looking for Rupu. <laughs> Alright, I don't see any more Rupu. Alright, what did we get for uh, milestones? Entomologist? Heck yeah. Alright. I think we are good. I wonder what I do with all these bugs. Maybe I sell them? Well, they can be used to make stuff. I probably should keep that. All right, let's go ahead and sleep for the night. Oh, holy moly. I hit forging level like four. <laughs> Dinks earned 6,700. Yay, I earned Dinks yesterday. Okay. I wonder what my forging level, like increasing the level is. Oh, John is visiting the island still. Good. I need the table saw. <laughs> it's gonna be the first thing that we do right now. Hello, John. Oh wait, I don't even need to talk to you. I'm good. This. I needed the table saw. Oh, that's the table saw. I can cut wood planks. Need that? Yep, I'll take it. Very good. Okay. Oh, he's got another axe now. Oh, interesting. Um, let's wait. I don't want to blow through all my money yet. We gotta go in here. Talk to you. Uh, oh, so you bought the table saw. Well done. Don't you think uh, John here is great? Yes. If only we could convince him to move here permanently. Hmm. Well, we'll worry about getting the materials needed for a permanent building first. The table saw is a great first step for now. You can have a break. Come back to me when you're ready. I'm ready. Got another job for you. You up for it? I'm ready. I'll tell you what. I think camping is fun, but if we're going to convince people to stay here on Flugelorn, we've got to have uh, more permanent structures. Yes, we do. I've noticed there's a lot of tin ore on the island. I've seen it popping up out of rocks all over the place. I know we can, a uh, way we can melt down tin ore uh, into stuff great for building. Now, I'll need you to bring me some items. We'll need one campfire, three stone, and ten tin ore. Keep in mind, you'll need a mining license to pickaxe and to buy a pickaxe to collect ores and rocks. Once you've gathered everything you need, come see me. All right, so now let's go ahead and get a uh, mining license here. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we've got mining, we've got logging. Um, farming allows the holder to buy and raise shooks. Landscaping allows the new pathing options. I want to know how to Let's see. We could probably do the fishing, um, purchase and use shovels. I wonder if that'll allow me to plant trees. Like if I dig up a hole, can I put a seed in it to, to farm it? Like kind of, that's kind of the purpose that I really wanted to do here. Um, uh, let's try it. Let's try that out. Okay. Uh, metal detecting. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. Landscaping building. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. So let's go and purchase ourselves the basic pickaxe. And I want the shovel. It's a big spoon for dirt. Yep, I'll take it. Thank you. And then let's go ahead and sell some stuff. What do we got for you? Uh, let's get rid of all of these bugs. And I want to keep the logs. We'll keep the Rupu. We'll sell the flowers. Okay, something is worth a lot. Maybe it's the flowers. I'm wondering if it's those flowers that's worth a lot. Um, entrepreneur, look at that. Ooh, made 10,000 monies. Awesome. Okay, so now... Stone, we need campfire, stone, and tin ore. Awesome, but that is actually going to end this episode. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. If you want to see more, make sure you leave a comment on the video. Make sure you leave a like. Um, this is Dincom. I will have a link down below to the Steam page as well. Um, but it seems pretty cool, pretty neat. I'm excited about it. Uh, I don't, I just, it just, it's just a lot of fun. So yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, maybe I'll see you in the next one. Bye everybody.